Hi, welcome back to the Spring Boot JPA tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the JPA query method for contents. So let's begin. So in case if you don't know what is query method and how to create the JPA query method, I made a separate video on that. Make sure to check out that video. I'll drop a link in the description section of this video. So consider an employee entity which has a two fields, name and location. So we need to query to the database to retrieve the list of employees in which the employee name contains John or in which the employee location contains India. So in order to achieve this requirement, instead of writing the SQL query, we can create a JPA query method. And here is the query method for that. Find by name, which is nothing but the field name and containing, this is a keyword. And we need to pass the parameter, which will be the uh, keyword, which we need to find. And also we can create a query method for the location, find by location, which is nothing but the field name and containing. And we need to pass the location. So behind the scenes, the JPA will create and execute the following query. Select star from employee, where, name, like, and within the percentage, we will, it will takes the parameter which we have passed. Okay, so internally it uses the like operator. So again, select star from employee where location like within the percentage India. So this is how we can create the query methods for containing. Let's jump into the STS ID and let's create the Spring Boot project. All right, I'm inside the STS ID. I have already created a project find by contains. So let me expand this and I have already created a few packages and the classes. So I have already created a repository, which is a laptop repository and which extends the JPA repository. And also we have the entity, which is a laptop, which contains ID, name, brand, description, and price. And also I have created a controller. Okay. So now let's jump into the laptop repository inside this. Let's create the query method. So this will return the list of laptop find by and we need to target the laptop name so the field name which is name and containing so this is the keyword and this will takes the parameter as a string let's create a one more uh, finder method list of laptop find by let's go to the entity class let's try for brand so we need to specify the field name find by brand containing string brand so let me import the list okay so now let's save this so now let's go to the controller first of all we need to auto wire the repository so laptop repository i'm gonna call this l repo and i will auto wire this okay so now let's create a handler method public response entity this is going to return list of laptop I'm going to call this get laptops by name. I'm going to annotate this with a get mapping laptops slash name. So we're going to receive, first of all, let me import the list and everything. Okay, so we're going to make use of the at request param to receive the parameter at request param string name. Let me import the request param as well. Okay, so inside this we're going to return a new response entity new response entity okay
okay it is response okay it's just a typo error and we're going to make use of the laptop repository to call the repository method which is find by name containing and we will pass the parameter name and then we will pass the http status okay okay so let me quickly copy this and let me paste this and i'll change this uri to brand get laptops by brand request param this will be brand new response entity okay let me change this to find by brand containing and we will pass the brand as a parameter okay so all right so now let's save this and let's go to the postman first of all we need to start the application All right, the application is started. Let me open the postman. Let's actually localhost 8080 laptops slash name and we need to pass the request param name is equal to uh, let's say we are going to find air uh, which is the keyword and it has to um, retrieve all the uh, laptops that contains the keyword air okay so let me click on this send we do get a single response i believe yes uh, we do have a macbook air that contains the keyword air okay so let me change this to hp and when i click on this send we do get a single record which contains the keyword hp okay okay so now let's try for macbook macbook and click send we do get two records macbook air and macbook pro all right okay so now let's try for the another uri which is brand brand and i will try for double l and this will be brand and okay so let's click on this send we do get two records because the brand which is tell contains the keyword double l and that's why it is displaying too okay so let's try for apple which contains the keyword uh, a p p l e okay it contains the letter l so i'll try for l the keyword and when i click on this send we do get i think four records okay dell which contains l l and apple which also contains l l okay we have a lenovo also okay so yeah this is how we can uh, create the query methods for containing and uh, yeah that's all about this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video